Hi, this is Marcin for Adorama. We're here in Köln for Photokina 2016 and we're gonna have a quick chat with Billy from Fuji. Yes, hi, how, how are you? Um, I'm, I'm really good. So, I think a lot of people will be very excited at, about the medium format announcement from Fuji, yeah. especially it's a mirrorless, which yeah. means it doesn't have to be such a huge and bulky body anymore when it comes it's, to medium it's, format. It's the first you know, mirrorless medium format camera yeah. with a focal plane shutter. Yeah. It's, it's called the GFX. And G basically is our heritage of medium format cameras. We made them lenses and, and cameras in the past. You know, the F stands for uh, film, you know, because of our heritage in film and film simulation. And X really represents the DNA of, of X series cameras. So having dials and controls, the usability of, of our cameras. So yeah, GF, GFX system is our brand new mirrorless medium format. The sensor itself is a 44 by 33 millimeter okay. sensor size, so it's a medium format. We like to call it more of a G format okay. and uses a G mount. So we have to build basically brand new G lenses for our camera. Which leads us to a topic like you're releasing a six brand new Fujinon lenses, Fred, right? With quite large uh, uh, um, range of functions. Yeah, we have a few lenses here, of course, we got, yeah. you know, um, just to list a few, we're going to do six of them in the next, you know, by the end of 2017 yeah. uh, with a few lenses very early. One that's equivalent to somewhat, you know, 24 to 50, which is like a two times zoom, f4 constant, but also a 63 millimeter f2.8. There is a 110 f2, right? Which is quite exciting glass. Absolutely, and as well as 120 f4, you know, yeah. macro as well. So that's a. Uh, some good lenses that we, we obviously offer. Now, of course, the lenses are a little bit bigger, but that's because of the medium format, but still looking at weight, you can really hold this system with one hand. Yeah, and which leads me also to one another thing for landscape photographers and then one shooting outdoors, like this is weatherproofed body, right? It's a fully weather resistant yeah. system, just like you know the X-T2 and X-T1 are. So they have the same characteristics, including the lens themselves. They're also weather resistant. Okay, so like, these are the highlights, I guess, and uh, do you have dates of uh, release of the camera? Well, this is only a, a developmental announcement, right? Uh, you know, a lot of the things that's on the camera right now, we still have to uh, obviously de develop it a little bit further, so not everything is final. It uses a Bayer sensor. Okay. So traditionally with X-Series cameras, yes. uh, it uses an X-Trans you know, filter array, which is very unique because it, do, it does without a low-pass filter, yeah. and therefore you can you know, obviously achieve very, very sharp images, but it uses X-Trans configuration to reduce more array. Now, with this sensor being a Bayer and it being 50 megapixels, yeah. you know, we could actually do without the low-pass filter and still not have more array without having to go X-Trans. So really, this is a, a more simple approach for us using this particular sensor. It is a customized sensor by Fuji. So we designed the micro lens on it to allow for really edge-to-edge -edge sharpness. And that's one of the key things about our GFX system yeah. is that it's built from the ground up. We're not using necessarily legacy lens. It's yeah, yeah, a new yeah. mount, a GF mount. It's new lenses, uh, G mount, a TF lens, and it's, you know, again, the micro lens is allowed just for edge to edge sharpness. Okay, fantastic. And just, just in terms of, uh, we're going to change the topic a little bit in terms of development. I know you have exciting news for like a way smaller format, which is the Instax, and you're going to have a black and white and square, which is like the roots of uh, instant photography. Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, Instax has been a very, very popular product for us. We have types of, of products, a mini Instax 8, we have an Instax Mini 70, and there's also uh, you know a wide 210 wide wide film. But of course, you know, with social media being very popular, I think one of the, the more common formats, especially for Instagram, is, is having a one-to-one -one square ratio. So that's why we introduced a development of of course a square Instax film. And of course down the road, you know, we'll have you know a device that can actually capture that. Well, thank you very much for this. Uh, we're really looking forward, especially the medium format camera, but uh, Instax should be some fun as well. <laughs> well thanks for having me.